Hi everybody, Cindy Ellers here for coming to you from a snowy central Wisconsin. Today's date is Monday, April 17th, 2023. And you sure would think it would be spring last week because it's winter now. Crazy weather we're having. But while I wait for everybody to hop on, I'm a little bit early, but it's okay because I have to go and get everything all set up so we can have some stamping fun tonight. So, there I am. And I already got somebody watching. My mom and Patty Weed are both watching. And maybe somebody else, but I'm not quite sure. But anyway... We had, well, there, hello, Patty. So nice to see you. In the last 24 hours, we've gotten almost 20 inches of that wet, heavy snow. It was beautiful out. I'm glad I took a picture of my daffodils last week because who knows, poor things. And there's Denise. So nice to see you. I see K Wire and Sally Becker. Everybody's hopping on. That's wonderful. I appreciate you all. Don't forget to say hi. That way you get in on the drawing. If you have time, share my video because that gets you in on another door prize drawing. So, all kinds of things happening. There's Sandy Zun and Sherry Martin. There's Linda. I'm so happy you call I'll make it. Like I was saying, the snow. Everything's white again. I can't believe it. But it is what it is. April, we're known for getting snowstorms. It'll melt. So that's the good thing. This week, my stamp set that I'm featuring is Jar of Flowers with the Coordinating Punch. And that, we've seen that one has stuck around for, I think, three years. So I'm not surprised. Oh, how much snow did we get, Kay? 19 inches. Can you believe that? I could. It was crazy. And there's Angie. Um, let's see what else we have happening. Uh, our veteran thank you cards. Don't forget about that now. Um, if you want to make some cards up to thank our veterans that go on the honor flights, I'm collecting those cards until June 1st. Um, also, don't forget about our the last chance sale, and I have some great news to go with the last chance sale, and that is on this Wednesday, April 19th, which is also Jim and my anniversary, Stamping Up is offering free shipping on orders of $75 or more. So this would be a wonderful opportunity to stock up on cardstock. Or maybe you had your eye on a stamp set or something. I highly encourage you to go on my, uh, in my stamping up store to place your order. That way you'll know what's um, available and what isn't. Um, I also know that cardstock ink is all going to be going up first of May. So now would be a perfect time to stock up. Okay, let's see. We have Pauline is watching. And thank you, Denise, for the anniversary wishes. Yep, Jim and I got married April 19th, 1980. So it'll be 43 years ago. And it was a beautiful spring day. And then it proceeded to snow for the rest of the month. So we lucked out. So... Yep. Okay. What else I have going on? The kit class or class to go. That's coming up a week from tomorrow. And I'll show you those cards. And let's see. When you, I just wanted to emphasize to share my face, this Facebook live. Um, it really helps me a lot. I just didn't realize how much it helps me, but it does. Okay. Door prizes, because I have lots to show you. Door prizes right here. We have, oh, this one. These very pretty balmy blue 
and pink sequins. They are going to go out to Bonnie Knack. And she lives in Wisconsin. So congratulations, Bonnie. And thank you so much for commenting. You won yourself a door prize. And we have these gold and silver flowers. And um, round gold spheres. They're for sharing. And you know, your odds, for when you share, your odds for winning are pretty good. So I'm going to make sure Debbie Vine from Wisconsin gets these also. Because I'll see Debbie next week at kit class. So congratulations, Bonnie Neck and Debbie Vine. So, wow, well, there's Lori Hall. It's nice to see you too. Okay, I'm going to put my door prizes right there. I am going to go, I'm going to go and flip my camera around so we can start looking at some cards I received and the kit cards or class to go. They use the same cards. Um, you'll want to get your orders in and I want to talk to you about the new catalog that's coming out May 4th. And I'll be doing a paper share. Right now, I'm just taking a show of hands of people that are interested. I'll need eight people to do the paper share. And um, it's 102 six by six sheets. I cut them down. We, we share it. It will cost you $30. If you don't live in my area and I can't deliver it to you, then you have to add postage. So it's $30 plus postage. I don't want anybody to be, um, to misunderstand. But if you live locally, you get, um, every paper that's in the new annual catalog that's coming out. We can't start, um, ordering until the 4th of May, but we can think about things. And I'm just taking a show of hands. Um, we have some beautiful, it's called Bright and Beautiful uh, Countryside Inn. You'll get six, six by six pieces. Delightfully eccentric, Earth and Elegance, Fresh as a Daisy, Glorious Gingham, Inked Botanicals, Let's Go Fishing, Less Shops, Masterfully Made, stargazing, and zoo crew. So, that's a, quite a selection. And I see Linda Hosh is already signing up, and so is Kay. I am just taking a show of hands right now, so we have plenty of time. But I just want to know who's all um, interested. Okay. I'll put that aside now. I'll be talking about it more, um, and I'll be doing a, a blog post on it. We'll be able to sh start sharing what they look like. I have right here. I can show you. I can show out when I flip the camera, you'll see what the bright and beautiful looks like. So it'll give you an idea. Okay, flipping the camera around now. And now you can see the snow on the roof and how it's just kind of sad, right? Okay, I want to raise this up a little bit. There we go. Now remember, Wednesday is that free shipping. I would be honored if you would pick me as your demonstrator. Here is my host code. Um... If your order is under, if your order is under 150, use my host code. Um, if it's over $150, you're going to want to go and you will want to go and um, not use my host code because you'll get your own rewards. And, oh, Debbie Vine is just started watching. Well, Debbie, look at... What you just won. 
So, two gold butterflies, some gold circles, and gold and silver flowers. I'll bring them next week to um, kit class, and you won those for sharing. And I'm just showing you, I haven't even opened it yet, but this is what the bright and beautiful paper looks like. It's very pretty. Um, I am, in case you missed it, Debbie, because I know you're, oh, you're always interested in that. I am doing a paper share. And um, if you're inter I'm just taking a show of hands right now. If you're interested, get in touch with me to get your name on the list. I'll need eight people. Okay, I got this lovely card from Pauline Langt from Minnesota. Now look at this. This is, I love it. Very pretty. I'm going to be keeping this one. This would make a nice fancy fold for us. So thank you, Pauline, for sharing your card with me. I know it was a thank you card, but still. Here are the kit cards for April. Kit class is a week from tomorrow, April 25th. It's These cards are also class to go. If you're interested, this is the first card. Here is a cute kids card. Five cards for seven dollars, ten cards for twelve, um, fifteen cards for seventeen. Mix and match, whatever you like. Here is my graduation card that I'm featuring. And of course, as I'm sure you can figure out, this has been the most popular card. And followed by my marigold card. This is the number four card with the, with the marigold moments. We're making it into, instead of a thank you card, we're making it into a happy birthday card. It's turning out gorgeous. You guys that have signed up already, you're going to like it. Well, there's Judy Vine and Tammy. Stoffel and Debbie Telesti, well, welcome. Here is the first sympathy card in Fresh Freesia. I like this one. Here is a little girl's birthday card. Oh, actually, that's not Fresh Freesia. That's Highland Heather. This is Fresh Freesia. What am I talking about? And the last one, which I'm really... Didn't know how it would go over, but this is very popular. And it is like a little boy's birthday card. Or masculine. You know, whatever. So these are the cards. If you're interested in attending class, let me know here in Nelsville. Or you can get it as a class to go. These are the cards available. Now... I want to share with you, where I'm going to put these back in their spot. I want to share with you some veterans cards that I got this week. And this, this is what I got this week. We are now up to 86 veteran thank you cards. And as you can see, they don't... Yes, I do, Lori. Um, the veteran thank you cards... Do not have to be fancy, nice, and clean, and simple. All I ask is that they're red, white, and blue, that you leave the inside empty, and no envelopes are needed. Um, contact me if you're interested. I can give you my address if you live out of state or something. Um, otherwise, if you live locally, I have a class next Tuesday. We can go and make arrangements to pick them up from you. Okay, put them in their spot. And, okay, I'm all caught up. Here is last week's technique class. This was a fun class. It was called Nested Shapes. And that's when you take, in this case, the stitch rectangles and cut two of them. And slide this one in so that it's like nested. So here was the uh, first card. It was a hello card. 
saying goodbye to the garden birdhouses in mint macaron and Sahara sand. I tried to use everything that was retiring so that we could say, um, so that we could say goodbye or just give it some love one more time. So this was the number two card. This was the number one card. Glad we're friends. And that's the stamp set it is on Bermuda Bay base with a rich razzleberry layer. And we used an oval this time. That was a fun technique. Something different. Well, thank you, Lori, for the... Yes, I like the... the, the the veteran cards that we received the first time around were so unique and nice, but now receiving them now, they're just as nice. Here is the birthday fun fold. I use the celebrate with tags, but it's not retiring. It's coming back. I thought it was retiring, but it's not. Um, it used a Pacific Point cardstock and a Mango Melody layer, which is retiring. And the fun fold went like that. So that was a fun, um, that was a fun card to make with my ladies. So I just wanted to share those with you before I make them into a blog post, which will be tomorrow's job. Okay. Oh, one more thing. Don't forget um, this April stamp of the month. It is the Pansy Patch stamp set. Yes, we're going to make some really cute cards with that. And um, it's not retiring. So you don't have to worry. That's what I thought was the best thing. Okay. i got to move this up. I didn't realize. There we go. That's better. Okay. And we're going to, I'm going to find, I'm going to make some really nice cards with this. If you're interested, it's $25 for the stamp set. But... The stamp set's been around for a while, and maybe you already own it. So for $5 plus postage, you can have the card kits. Four card kits for $5 plus postage. There's Ronnie Kayser smith tuning in. So nice to see you, Ronnie. Tonight's featured stamp set is Jar of Flowers. This set is retiring. It has been around for a while, but it's been quite popular. It has a coordinating um, punch, and we're going to have some fun with it. You will see what I mean. Our ink selections is Pool Party, Soft Suede, and Memento Black. Okay, let me put that aside. And here's our packet. Like I said, using retired cardstock, using retired, retiring ink, although Pool Party is not retiring, but Soft Suede is. We're also going to use Polished Pink, which is retiring. We are going to use Old Olive, and that is not retiring. We're going to use Rich Razzleberry, which is retiring. Rococo Rose, that's retired already. Whoops. Um, light Crumb Cake and Light Gray Granite. These are the stamping blends we're going to be using to color our flowers. Okay, let me put that aside. I will put them right here. <coughs> Excuse me. As I said, oh, you didn't get that much snow, Ronnie? Oh, yeah, we got 19 inches. That was crazy. And, but on a light side, I was in my room all day, so it didn't bother me a bit. And it is what it is. We live in Wisconsin, right? Okay. We are using Sahara Sand Base. 
it is five and a half by eight and a half, scored at four and a quarter. And we'll, it will be a up and down card. Let me put that aside. We are also going to use the brick and mortar 3D uh, embossing folder. And we're going to use a blushing bride layer, which is retiring. The brick and mortar embossing folder is retiring. So what I do is I put on all my 3D folders, I put a blue, uh, I put, put a blue dot on it so that when I go in my drawer of folders, I know that I have to have this, the number four, uh, plate. It works out pretty good for me, and I've even got my stamping ladies at class. It just makes it so much easier. So we're going to have a Blushing Bride layer, and that's that. We can, we can put that on. It's going to go right like so. And there's, oh, there's Bernie. Well, welcome. Nice to see you. Let's put this right on. Okay. Um, now, the next step, we are also, whoa, I don't want to lose that. We're also using the timber 3D embossing folder. Good news. This is not retiring. I was happy. And we're going to just, uh, we're just using a small piece of soft suede cardstock. And that's going to go right there. So let's put that on. I'm going to put that right on the bottom, like a, like a shelf. Just like so. Okay, put that aside. Now, because the stamps are photopolymer, I'm using my paper piercing pad and... A piece of, I'm going to use a piece of white scrap to stamp my flowers. Okay? When I have big stamps like this, I like to turn them upside down. And that way, I can make sure they get covered and I get a nice, crisp, um, stamp like that all right now put that there and right here let me get my jar okay same thing and we're going to stamp that right there Okay, so far so good. Now, let's cover this up. Now, um, I want to create the illusion of water in my jar. So I'm going to use my pool party. Now, one nice feature of this particular stamp set is there was a smaller stamp. And when you have it like this... And, uh, it would actually stamp the outline. But if you turned it around and stamped it like that, you get the you get a solid stamp and then It's going to look like my jar is half full or three quarters full. 
Okay. Let us have our, we need the black again. These are the stems. And I want to go stamp, stamp them in the jar. So like my flowers have stems, they're sitting in water. I have to have my dark old olive, and it'll only take me a second to color these real quick. I hope everybody had a great weekend. We had a good weekend. We went to watch the grandson play ball. You know, it was a nice spring day. And then Sunday we got to, we woke up to cloudy and rain, and that turned into snow. But last week, oh my, it was so pretty. We had record highs. It was 90 degrees. Like I said, it's crazy. There, got my stems all done. Now I want to go and take my blends and cut a uh, color and cut it out so that it looks like that. Magic, right? Right. Um, I'm going to go and use my, the jar punch to cut out my jar. And we can start building our card. We can put that aside, put this aside. I want to go and it's going to be a thank you card. I'm taking the thank you, thanks a bunch from the Celebrate Sunflowers and we'll go and, um, There we go. I wasn't seeing any. Okay. We will go and um, get our banner ready. Okay. So we're going to do that. Just like so. And then take my snips. And I'm sure you've all done that. This one is, I'm just going to cut a little bit off both ends and then like so. There, so we have that, okay? Let me put this away, don't wanna lose it. <laughs> and might as well do the inside of my card, my um, card verse. Congratulations on reaching a whole new level of wonderful. Um, if you happen to take advantage of the Wednesday stamping up sale with free shipping on Wednesday only, $75 purchase, I will send you this beautiful thank you card. Come on up. There. And maybe even something else. You just never know. I don't know why I had two of those. That must have been. There we go. I guess I did need my snips. 
Oh, there's body. And the, well, you saw that you won. Yes, I'll get it in the mail tomorrow. So, yes. I'm glad you won, too. Okay. We have the inside. Might as well put the inside on. I've been working so hard getting my cardstock holder, pulling all of the um pulling all of the retired cardstock, making way for the new. I got my pre order last week, so all was right with that. I was happy to get it. Uh here, right here. Let's go and put our banner in. I need some some and we'll get that taken care of. We'll go in. I can't wait to start playing with new stuff, but for now, I'm going to go and enjoy using the old stuff. There we go. Okay, so now I want to put my jar right here along with my flowers. Okay, so let's go and see. So it's going on this brown, like it's sitting on a table. Love the flowers and jars. Yes, I love it too. Bonnie. Oh, I'm putting glue on the bottom. And I'm going to put a dimensional on the top and on the side of the jar that's going to be above the brown. So it kind of, so it doesn't look funny. It's going to be perfect. I'm going to put it right here. Like so, now we're going to go and take our flowers and get the Winka Stella out. I don't know why, but I haven't been using my Winka Stella lately. Definitely time to get that out. As far as I know, it's not retiring or anything. I don't know why I haven't been using it. I just guess I forgot. And we'll do one more thing. I'm getting it, almost getting it. I had so much to talk about. Keep it in mind if you're interested in the paper share um, that'll be coming. And that will only be, only taking a show of hands right now. But it's, uh, it is 103, 102, excuse me, sheets of designer series paper for $30. And if you're not in my area, you have to pay for the postage. I am going to go and use one of my blends to color some of these pearls, uh, rich raspberry. I like doing that. You don't have to have all the different colors. I'll just put these aside, only take a second to, to dry, and then that'll give me time to put the flower, the bouquet of flowers on. There's Jan. Nice to see you, Jan. If you, you probably, you probably didn't get the snow we got. Nobody got the snow we got, I don't think. That's crazy. But we were busy bottling syrup today. I was in my stamping room. So we were busy. It didn't matter. Although Jim, he always goes up to the farm every day. He couldn't do it at his usual time of 8 o'clock in the morning. He had to wait. And we our road got plowed. But... The road up the farm didn't. Good thing he had four-wheel drive, I guess. There. There. 
Okay, so we got our Winkostella on our flowers. We're going to go and put them on our jar. There's the front. Almost got it. We're going to take the one little, one little pearl. Two little pearls. And uh, let's see if this one got glue on it or not. Oh, yeah. And this pearl is going to go right. Come on now. Clap wait. There. Whoops. Right there. So we got our pearls on. I'm not sure if this one's going to stay. Oh, well, maybe it will. And this is our card. Using the jar of flowers and the jar punch. Oh, you didn't get any snow. Well, thank you, Jeannie, for liking the colors. I think it turned out great. You would not be, you would not believe how many times I made this card trying to find the right color. Um, but Blushing Bride ended up being the winner. And I'm glad it did. So there's our card. So much for you to think about. And um, be sure to tune in next Monday night. And we'll have another featured stamp set. And it'll probably be one that's retiring. But it's okay because it's a great way to to um, some love to a set before it's gone. So thank you. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in. Have a great rest of the week, and take care. Bye now.